if a big UFO came now, we walk outside and over Westminster, there's a spaceship hovering. I wouldn't be in the least bit. NASA's live stream cut out. Then Brian Cox went live on BBC. What he said next stunned the world. What we're witnessing may force us to rewrite everything we thought we knew about deep space. What started as a routine sky survey from a telescope over the Pacific turned into one of the most controversial astronomical events in history. NASA shut down the feed. Minutes later, they deleted the raw footage and the object itself. It's been named Neo Umuam Mua. And this changes everything. At first glance, Neo Umuam Mua looked like 2017's infamous interstellar visitor. Umuam Mua, cigar shaped, fast moving, tumbling erratically. But this one didn't just pass through, it came closer. It changed speed, changed direction, and then it stopped. Cox called it non ballistic motion. That's not a comet, that's not a rock, that's something else. NASA's deep space network picked up internal vibrations, the kind consistent with guidance mechanisms. The thermal signature around it fluctuated, like something actively regulating heat. And then, just before the blackout, this isn't clickbait. Brian Cox is right. Neo Oumuamua defies the known laws of physics. And just like its 2017 predecessor, it shows no signs of natural behavior. But unlike the original, this one didn't leave. It lingered. And maybe it was never a probe at all. Maybe it's something more chilling, a sensor, a tripwire. The Fermi paradox has always asked, if the universe is full of life, why haven't we heard from anyone? What if the silence is the answer? Cox speculated that Neo Oumuamua might be part of a vast surveillance system, left dormant until triggered by us. The object may have been passively waiting for a signal, or a threshold, or an awakening. And now, we may have crossed that line. Independent observatories in Chile and South Africa confirmed what NASA didn't. A directed burst of X-band electromagnetic radiation, again in prime intervals. It matches something eerily familiar, Carl Sagan's idea of a universal language for alien contact. But that's not all. The pulse contained a sequence pulled directly from the Voyager Golden Record, the sound of a human heartbeat. One beat, then three, then five, then silence. Not just communication, a mirror. Let's take a breath. If this is real, this isn't first contact. This is an evaluation. Cox hinted that this may be part of a larger cosmic filtration system, a way for advanced civilizations to monitor spacefaring species and assess their threat level. Neo Oumuamua didn't communicate. It observed. It judged. The non-gravitational maneuvers, the signals, the silence, they're all part of a test we didn't know we were taking. April 7, 2025. CERN's magnetometer array picked up a global magnetic anomaly 0.72 seconds long, with harmonic frequencies unknown to any terrestrial source. Not solar, not tectonic, not human. But that wasn't the terrifying part. Exactly 43 light hours away, Voyager 1 responded. The signal came back time-stamped to match CERN's event to the millisecond. But Voyager's decades-old instruments shouldn't have been able to detect, let alone respond to, that pulse. Yet the probe replied, not with a bounce back, but with a custom signal, never programmed into its system. A signal that looked like it had been crafted by something else, through Voyager. NASA engineers were baffled. Internal sources said data was pulled within hours. Credentials were revoked. One researcher received a direct call from Langley, do not analyze, do not replicate. So, who used Voyager, and why now? Maybe Voyager wasn't the source. Maybe it was the interface, a relay point embedded in a larger system already watching us. Neo Oumuamua may have activated that system. Think about it. Voyager sits in the heliopause, the edge of our solar system, a perfect vantage point. What if probes like Voyager were never just human achievements, but also listening posts and the encrypted signal? A Finnish radio astronomy team partially decoded it before being shut down. They described it as mathematically elegant, built on nested prime intervals, using logarithmic spirals and quantum error correction structures we've only just started exploring. Not language, not noise, architecture. A framework to hold a deeper message, like a compressed interstellar zip file. And whoever built it, 
knows how we build things too. They've been listening. Neo Umuam Mua might not be alone. We may be looking at a distributed surveillance network already embedded across our solar system, disguised as comets, asteroids, even space debris, waiting for us to reach a point, then act. Astronomers are now reviewing decades of anomalies. In 1973, a Soviet Venus probe recorded a magnetic whine, dismissed as solar interference. In 1989, Galileo flew past an asteroid that shifted its reflective properties mid-flyby. In 2003, Cassini caught a momentary flip in Saturn's magnetic field, random or part of a hidden system slowly coming online. Here's the twist. We didn't send a signal, we didn't initiate contact, and yet, something responded. That means we're not just dealing with intelligence, we're dealing with predictive intelligence, something that knew when to listen and how to respond. Cox's warning was subtle, but profound. We assume discovery would be mutual, but we've been noticed first. That changes everything. Since April 7th, things have gone strangely quiet. NASA has gone silent. Archived footage is gone. Amateur astronomers trying to track Neo Umuam, MUA report unexplained interference. Telescopes drifting off target, lenses degrading. Then came the leak, JPL, classified the object's new flight path. That's not normal. Even spy satellites have public tracking logs, but not this. Whatever this is, we're not meant to see it anymore. The silence isn't natural. Princeton researchers who initially studied the object are now on sabbatical. Caltech's data server went offline. SETI hasn't commented at all. Brian Cox has kept talking, but carefully. Measured words, controlled tone. Because maybe this isn't the beginning of discovery. Maybe it's the end of waiting. If Neo Umuam Mua triggered a response, if Voyager 1 became an interstellar relay, then we've awakened something that doesn't play by our rules, a surveillance layer hidden in plain sight. We thought the silence meant we were alone, but now the silence feels expectant. The dominoes are falling. The message may already be en route, and we may already be inside the experiment. Cox's final warning. Maybe this isn't contact. Maybe it's judgment. Let that sink in. This may not be about intelligence, but worth, not are you smart, but are you safe? Are you worth preserving or erasing? And if we really have tripped a galactic tripwire, then the question isn't when we make contact, it's whether we survive it. If this story changed how you see the universe, hit like, subscribe, and drop your theory in the comments. Simulation, surveillance, something else entirely, and stay tuned. Because CERN still hasn't released the final milliseconds of that magnetic pulse. And what's in that data might not just change science, it might change everything.